thank you very much because we are at 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. Asante ni sana. <laughs> now, um, for all the females in this, uh, for all the women in this channel, Happy International Women's Day. Later, I was supposed to do this yesterday. I don't know why it flipped my mind. Happy International Women's Day to my family. I have a wife and a daughter, and I'm born with uh, three girls. I'm the only boy there. Happy International Women's Day. I'm happiest of all, too, for the 10,000 subscribers. Let's cross over to politics. But before I cross over to politics, we want to, I want to unequivocally denounce the trending video of a lady who was actually assaulted at Wangari Madai Road. That was unfortunate, uncouth, backward, barbaric. We have to respect our women. Now, let's ask ourselves a question. Who is this Western governor that is moving to UDA? All the straight to the star, corridors of power, a governor from Western is under pressure from his finances and co-supporters to join the DP William Ruto-led Kenya Kwanza Alliance. This pressure comes amidst claims that his sponsoring party is seeking to hand the ticket to another big shot in order to fix him. Those in the know say the governor's talks with the prospective new partners are at an advanced stage. Whispers abound his move may sound the death knell for the party as he, he is its own its only representative in the county. He has also facilitated the outfit's activities in the region. Now, when I read this, um, when I read this rumor, I was trying to narrow down the Western. Bungoma, uh, let's start with Busia or Jamong is not seeking re-election. Siaya just ruled that out. Uh, Humabe ruled that out. Kisumu is Anyang Nyongo. That one cannot join UDA by default. Uh, Obado can join UDA but is not seeking re-election. Oparanya not seeking. Now, there are two governors that are seeking re-election from Western Kenya. Uh, let's also go to the Kisi side. Away we have Ongwai, not seeking re-election. Then, uh, who else? Uh, the, the Nyamira governor, Nyaribo is seeking re-election. So, we narrow down to two governors. The two governors that are seeking re-election. One of them is Wangamati from Bungoma, and the other one is Nyaribo from Nyamira. So between Ngamati and Nyaribo, who can be who who do you think is being pushed to join UDA? First, yes, Ngamati is in DAPK, but UDA have Ken Losaka who have joined them through uh, who have joined the UDA team through uh, Ford King. Uh, the Kenya Kwanza team through Ford Kenya and is going to seek governorship there. That is Ken Lusaka. So, by all means, it narrows down to Amos Nyaribo. Um, my Amos Nyaribo is the only representative of United Progressive, Progressive Alliance, UPA. That's a new party. And of course, I want us to look at the terrain, the gubernatorial race in, 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 in Yamira. So that we narrow down to why the Kenya Kwanza team are pushing him to join UDA. The one governor that is being sought out by UDA is Amos Nyaribo. Now, this is coming because last week when Raila Dinga was holding rallies in Yamira and Kisi, Amos Nyaribo was booed by, I think, some, some of the people who were attending that rally. And he seemed to be receiving some backlash from Yamira. Do you remember also Rai Lodinga invited um, Wiper Party MP uh, from, I think, uh, Bomasi? Ben Momani also shifted from Wiper to ODM. 
And there could be, I think, there could there were also rumors that Raila Odinga might be trying to favor Bomasi for the Amira, Amira gubernatorial seat. That that is all there. So at the center of this is Nyamira gubernatorial seat. So guys, let's look at the race, how the race is shaping, and figure out why do you think that maybe there's a new team might be fronting or maybe favoring another candidate. So the Nyamira seat, first Nyaribo is there because during the NASA uh, power sharing deal, the governors from ODN and deputy was from ANC. That is why Nyamira uh, uh, Nyaribo was picked deputies Nyangarama who passed on. So he did not actually, he did not get it through the elective process. He was actually handpicked. And so if he was going to seek re-election, this was his first attempt to seek an elective seat. So in, in, in Nyamira, the ODM treasurer, that is Timothy Bosire, is seeking through ODM ticket. And we have ex Kitutu Chache Masaba MP Mwancha Okioma. Then another ex Kitutu Chache MP um, Kitutu Masaba is known as Walter Nyambati. And Walter Nyambati is seeking through UDA. Then uh, we also have uh, Ben Momasi from Burabo. So if you look at if you look at it technically. If Masaba, uh, Nyambati is coming from uh, Kitutu Masaba, then also Mwancha Okema is also coming from Kitutu Masaba. So all these are here. And also Timothy Bosiri is also coming from Kitutu Masaba. So if, if, if Nyambati and Mwancha all go to the ballot, then ODM really are favoring Bosiri because the ODM, the DM, I think Oledama, Oledama, Olekina, Ledama Olekina campaigned for Bosiri there, and I think even Junet Mohammed. And one thing I've always known with the ODM, ODM rewards loyalty. And in this case, if there will be a, a negotiation, a negotiated democracy, then that ticket will directly go to Timothy Bosiri. And according to reports, that Timothy Bosiri is grounded because he really worked well as an MP, and that track record might work for him in this seat. So ODM, uh, UDA have this candidate, Walter Nyambati. So the reason why they will actually want to drop Walter Nyambati is because he comes from the same constituency as that of ODM, that, that is Timothy Bosire and Moncha Ukiema. So if ODM is going to give the ticket to Bosire and they give to Nyambati and they come from the same constituency, you know that matrix does not work. <clears throat> So that is why they have now opted to go for uh, Nyaribo. So that in any case, they are not going to bump candidates from the same place. Let's work with the baseline that UDA wants to pluck Nyaribo from the UPA and join, uh, join them. First, this is, I think this is a welcome call to Nyaribo because that United Progressive Alliance, that UPA party, is a party that belonged to Matiangi. And in me initially, remember when during the twenty the twenty third January Bombers of Kenya event, uh, where William Ruto attended the ANC delegates conference. That's the day that Nyaribo walked out of that. I think he walked out with the Kalonzo, uh, Wanjigi, and uh, and Kanu, uh, Gideon Moy. That is the day that he walked out. So he was weighing between going to DAPK. But he found out that within DAPK, he was still within Azimio and he was built strong. But again, even UPA is within Azimio. So even if that seat is supposed to be negotiated within Azimio, UPA is a small party and it doesn't have structures. It doesn't have the clout to really push Nyaribo to that seat. But then, um, plucking Nyaribo will be a welcome call also for the, for the, for the Kenya Kwanza team, for the, uh, for the Azimio team because I think the plot was by Matiangi to try also to have a voice and push that in part of uh, that Azimio deal that Nyaribo is given the ticket to fly Kenya, to fly Azimio. But I think Nyaribo is unpopular on the ground. That is one. So let's look at the inside politics. One, 
the UDA, the Kenya Kwanza team, Ruto would like to kill that upper party. And the need to kill that upper party is directly to try to push off um, none other than Matiangi from the politics of Kisi. Because that upper party is actually CS Matiangi's party. In the same way Matiangi is pushing Nyaribo for governor in Nyamira, he is also pushing Omingo Magana to vote for governor in Kisi through the upper party. And you know, William Ruto have actually seen that yes, um, Matiangi have not had have not been very formidable in elective politics, eh? but maybe through this party he's trying to 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 breed himself. Eh? To, it can actually grow if if, if 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 it gets some very serious seats within Kisi, then it can grow and Matiangi might use it to destabilize or maybe to take change of Kisi in the coming days. So that is why they also don't want this party to sprout. Number three, number that is number one. Number two, I think um, the UD team wants to kick out Matiangi from Kisi politics. I have I have I, I have analyzed here that if there is something that Matiangi is endowed to do, that is the responsibility that has been given in the Kisi matrix, is to make sure that he delivers the Kisi vote to Raila Ding. In the event that if that happens, if Raila, when Raila forms government, then on what he has brought, just on that ground, that's when he's going to get his share. But kicking him out is also very effective because He's been a strong critic of Deputy President William Ruto. Mom, bye. So, he's been a strong critic of William Ruto. And William Ruto want, would, would really want him to black, to be out of his politics. Because in the long run, he is a key uh, detractor to William Ruto there. Secondly, uh, thirdly, I think the Kenya Kwanza want to seize Nyamira after losing Kisi. Actually, Kisi they have lost because the defections from Kisi, the, 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 the defections in Kisi. Omingo, Nyambara, Nyame, Omingo Magara was in UDA, defected, is from Kisi. Anthony Kibagendi is from Kisi, also defected. Josh Maangi, and then Raila Dingi went there and planted Simba Rati. They are out of Kisi. So the only matrix they are trying to look at is Nyamira. And so that is why they feel like if they get Nyaribo, who is an incumbent, maybe they can pick a plank of some votes from the Nyamira side. So that is also one. Then four, UDA is backstabbing on ANC. Because actually according to, uh, I have been doing my research uh, and I realized that the UDA team are the ones that are approaching Nyaribo, not even the ANC. And so if Nyaribo is coming back and is defecting from ANC to UDA, but he was initially in ANC. That also tells you that they don't want ANC to seek that seat. And I can tell you categorically that these gubernatorial seats are very contentious even within UDA and Kenya Kwanza. People want to win governors because through governors, you can really get entrance into the counties. Raila Odinga have had very easy time campaigning in all these 31 counties that is controlling because the governors are within the Azimio space. So guys, that's it. And that's why I think that it is Amos Nyeribo heading back to UDA. And it is just a matter of time, he will go to UDA.